You know, uh, among those who have been victimized this evil, who have been, who've been killed, are at least 22 American citizens. This attack uh, was uh, a campaign of pure cruelty, not, not just hate, but pure cruelty against the Jewish people. And I would argue it's the deadliest day for Jews since the Holocaust. The deadliest day since the Holocaust. We must all do our part and forcefully speak out against anti-Semitism and push back against the attempts to deny or distort the facts. We're surging additional military assistance to the Israeli Defense Force, including ammunition, interceptors to replenish the Iron Dome, and we've moved the U.S. carrier fleet to the Eastern Mediterranean, and we're sending more fighter jets there in that region. And made it clear, made it clear to the Iranians, be careful. I've known Bibi for over 40 years, a very frank relationship. I know him well. And the one thing that I did say, that it is really important that Israel, with all the anger, frustration, and just did not explain it, that exists, is that they operate by the rules of war. The rules of war. And there are rules of war. And, uh, and I believe Israel is doing everything in its power to, uh, to pull the country together, stay on the same page, and we're going to do everything in our power to make sure Israel will succeed and God willing, bring home those Americans who are in harm's way. To make clear, there is no place for hate in America. Not against Jews, not against Muslims, not against anybody. 